Welcome to the African World Channel. Today, we embark on a captivating journey where human curiosity intersects with groundbreaking innovation. We delve into the enthralling narrative of Kanaku, a company founded by the Nigerian immigrant Ashiranoia Agabi, driven by an insatiable fascination with the complexities of the human brain. The story unfolds with Ashiranoia's relentless pursuit of merging biological neurons with silicon chips, driven by an unwavering passion to unlock the secrets of cognition. Assembling a team of brilliant minds from diverse fields, Kanaku's sleek headquarters became a hive of creativity and discovery. Scientists and engineers, working side by side in state-of-the-art laboratories, achieved groundbreaking success in fusing biological components with advanced technological systems. Kanaku's first triumph came with a prototype neurochip capable of olfactory perception, revolutionizing industries from agriculture to security. The integration of biological olfactory receptors with artificial intelligence yielded a device that could detect and identify scents with unparalleled accuracy. Emboldened by this success, Kanaku expanded its focus to create neurochips emulating complex human thought processes, embedding living neurons for advancements in artificial intelligence previously deemed science fiction. Word of Kanaku's achievements spread globally, captivating investors and researchers alike. The company's innovations extended beyond business applications, reaching healthcare, environmental monitoring, and space exploration. The fusion of biology and technology became a beacon for a future where these two realms harmoniously coexisted. Join Ashiranoia Agabi as he unveils cutting-edge technology at the prestigious Web Summit in Qatar, showcasing a first-hand demonstration of its incredible functionality. Don't miss out, let's dive into the details by checking out the video together. Now, we as human beings, we do want to build artificial general intelligence. Why do we want to do this? Because it makes our lives richer. Sure, there are problems that we can solve as human beings, but imagine a world where AI or general intelligence is helping us to diagnose disease, keeping our ports safe, helping us to design new kinds of tastes. What are the parts lists? for this artificial general intelligence. We take these brain cells, we genetically modify them to express the same receptors, to function the same way as a dog's nose will work, for instance. We make these new kind of chips that last about 30 days that you can put into one of our devices. And it's modeled after the dog's nose. So, we have built a machine that allows you to detect smell at an unprecedented scale. What is it useful for? One of our first deployments that we have deployed in California is the idea that you can walk from the curbside in an airport into the aircraft without any obvious security. In fact, we took our technology and we went head to head in trial with the actual dog. The dog was detecting at about 58% accuracy. Out of 114 trials, we did not get a single false positive or a single false negative. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the first time anywhere in the world, I present to you, for the first time here in Doha, in Qatar, you are going to see a machine that is part biology and part machine. Nowhere else in the world has this been shown before. And here, my team, so what you're seeing here is, so the, 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 the dog itself is not built by our, it's not built by our company. But on the top of this dog, you have a brain or a smell processor that is made with actual biological cells. This has never, ever been done anywhere before. Now, they are going to show, can you smell it and tell us, describe to them what you're smelling when you smell the compound, please. It's, it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> but what does it smell like? How would you describe it? Uh, the, I, I can smell a bit of apple, is it? It's, it's essentially the smell of green peas. 
And now we are going to use this biology to detect the smell of this green piece. Can you present it, please? Yes. Just present it. So what she's doing is she's presenting the smell of what is in that ball. She's presenting it to the dog. It's a robot dog, and you can see on the screen. Can you show the screen? You can see the detection event. You will see the lines shoot up. So you see the detection event. Can you show the screen, please? Do you see it? So this is the line going up. So for the first time, we have demonstrated now for the whole world to see. Outside of a laboratory, we are showing a machine that is part animal and part machine that is detecting smell in real time. And feel free to tweet about it. <laughs> Thank you. Prior to the groundbreaking summit in Qatar, Ashiorinoe Agabi and his team, in collaboration with Airbus, conducted successful tests of their revolutionary technology at San Francisco Airport. The results were flawless, showcasing its ability to detect bombs, drugs, and diseases like COVID-19 with unparalleled accuracy, surpassing even the capabilities of trained dogs. Join us as we witness this cutting-edge technology in action at San Francisco International Airport. It's a smell cyborg that allows us to read the air and smell what is in the air. We have demonstrated here today that we can detect explosives in a completely seamless way. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to touch anything. Your bags are automatically screened. We're doing a scenario of a check-in counter. It's installed. We may have a big screen on the side or something. Previous tests have done it in labs or in a warehouse testing. But in, in an airport testing, you're getting more of the air contaminants, right? This is all done by the sniffing of the air particles. And in an airport, you've got jet fuel, you've got people with different colognes, perfumes. We have gone ahead and borrowed directly or taken the technology that biology has used to smell and put that on a chip, hence the cyborg. We have taken living biological neurons, we've genetically modified them to carry these proteins and stick them on a chip and manage to keep those cells alive for prolonged periods of time. So the biology now is acting as a sensor device, it's acting as a computational unit, and it's acting as a reporting unit. And the electronics surrounding it is doing further processing on it and helping us transmit that signal everywhere. It was a bit emotional. This is exactly what we were waiting for, I mean. And when we all saw the the curves and the signal popping, uh, yeah, we were like, okay, we've done it. The beauty of the technology is that you can actually uh, reprogram the cells to detect one uh, compound or another. Today we are working with explosive, but we know that the technology is already able to detect other types of uh, chemical compound, and that's what makes this uh, technology uh, so beautiful and versatile. It's a multi-solution technology. So you are screening explosives, you are screening breath and diagnosing disease in real time on a single device. In the case of COVID-19, we just completed the first phase of our clinical trials and now we are moving to the second phase. One of the things that COVID has taught us is that now we have merged the issue of security and safety into one singular issue. So a person that is carrying the virus is as dangerous as a person that is carrying explosives on themselves. So we can also screen for that. There are multiple ways we can use that technology, either at the check-in desk, at the revolving doors, at the stairways, at the lift, even at the security screen line. It could be installed in bathrooms, anywhere in the current lobby area, and it provides assurance to safer passenger travel. There is no equivalent, there is no no existing or competing technology that enables to scan constantly for explosive and chemical threat in large areas, in real time, for a low cost, etc. All this delivering data 
we could not access before. It provides this complete horizontally integrated workflow that allows you to travel from the curbside to the aircraft in a, in a seamless way. Not without challenges, Kanaku faced ethical debates and skepticism regarding the potential risks of blending organic and artificial systems. However, Ashiro Inoue Agabe and his team remained steadfast in their commitment to responsible innovation, emphasizing the positive impact their creations could have on humanity. As we conclude this incredible journey into the world of Kanaku, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this groundbreaking fusion of biology and technology? Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to spread the marvel of Kanaku's story. Your engagement fuels our exploration of extraordinary tales at the intersection of human ingenuity and cutting-edge technology. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious. See you in the next video.